Hello kids, this is Grumpy, welcome back. Hey, uh, we're here today to take a look at a couple pieces of uh, gear. Um, if you paid attention to my Instagram, you may already know what they are. Uh, I'm going to tease the package on them uh, tomorrow, so uh, you'll see the white package like this. Uh, and I'm still trying to debate. I'm sorry, I'm kind of fumbling a little bit. Uh, trying to figure out which one of these I want to open up first. I think it's going to be the the bigger one. Because this one uh, is going to be more distracting, I think. So maybe we can get through the first half of this without too much stumbling and mumbling and all the other things. Do I want to cut it? I'll just tear it open. How about that? I know it's no fun. But uh, it's what we're going to do here today. So uh, I'll just go ahead and kind of spill this now. A little bit of a spoiler alert. In fact, I tell you what. I'm going to oh, go ahead and open up both of the envelopes since the cat's now out of the bag. Uh, proverbial cat, that is. And these came in another envelope, uh, another full disclosure here. Uh, these came in another envelope that uh, I thought was something else. And uh, so I tore it open uh, and opened these up. Uh, opened up, actually opened up this one and saw the end of it that I will show you. Not this end, the other end that I'll show you here in a second. And uh, realized that it was not the uh, not the part for uh, one of my cameras that I was <laughs> waiting on. So uh, uh, anyway, without further ado, let's uh, let's get into this. Um, you may have seen some reviews on this one already. Uh, I've seen a couple myself. Uh, let me unlock my focus here and uh, get down on it. Come on, Kaiser. Nice boxes. Uh, I should have had like three layers of this packaging out already. Uh, this one almost looks like it's been opened before. I promise I haven't opened the boxes yet. Uh, like I said, I did open the outer envelope, but uh, there. we'll leave that at that. I'm afraid I'm going to give away too much on the other one. And... It's like a shoebox. Now, uh, you can see the stickers here. Mojave Outdoors. Uh, they are a, a, a newer to me. Um, Kaiser Online Retailer. Uh, oh, man. I had never dealt with them before, but... Uh, once I got on Instagram and started getting to know some of the uh, other atypical, Ooh, that's not good. See the tip there's pushed through. It wasn't in its, it was starting to come out. In fact, you can sort of see it over here. It didn't hurt the knife. I'm not worried about that. But it was starting to come out the side of the box. Uh, somebody manhandled it a little too far and nearly got themselves stabbed <laughs> I didn't even get to draw first blood it almost drew it on its own that would have been bad that would have been meant that uh, somebody else owned it oh man that thing is screaming sharp too uh, I'm not going to shave my arms you can't see the hair, what little hair I have on them anyway but uh, yeah let's uh Get this out of the way, not completely, just off camera, because I'm going to be rustling with this plastic insert in order to get underneath it to the uh, microfiber cloth, obligatory, obligatory microfiber cloth, some information on Kaiser products, but most importantly, the sheath. Ah, a nice taco style Kydex sheath. Uh, appears to be Kydex anyway. 
Yeah, it feels like it. Um, and you got some soft straps, soft loops. Uh, like a rubberized. A uh, little, little more rigid. Oh, sorry. A uh, little more rigid than uh, the other ones I have had. Uh, but seem rugged enough. Held on with Chicago screws, drainage hole, nice. Anyway, uh, let's get up in here so you can see D2, model number there, the Kaiser logo, Harpoon, Maverick Customs, the designers, American designers here. Uh, Man, um, feels great. You can see some of the oil there on the blade. I'm not too worried about it. It's a coated D2. Better to have oil on it than not. But, uh, yeah, that micarta, uh, it's a nice russet, you know, not quite red. It'll get red as it collects oils from your hands. Uh, I'm actually thinking about doing a dye job on this, um, to make it a, a slightly different shade of red so it'll patina differently but uh, we'll see about that later for now let's see how it works in the sheath nice nice didn't hear a satisfying snap but it is I think that rattle you're hearing is actually the strap not the yeah oh huh? no yeah there we go yeah they are they are not one way uh, one way dot snaps or anything like that but uh, I tell you what um, not a bad little sheath for uh, for stock you know this knife uh, was on the site for $59 uh, as was the other one we're going to take a look at here in a second uh, so $59 and that included tax and shipping if you got over $100 on the site and if you're a new user you got um, I think five dollars worth of uh, mo points mo money I, I, I forget what the term is i apologize to mojave um but they gave you five dollars for signing up and then ten dollars after your first order to use on your next order so um my next order will be fifteen dollars up uh fifteen dollars off my next guys that's one way to keep me coming back i suppose uh, as long as I like these Kaisers, uh, which so far, uh, I have to say, um, I might heat this Kydex up and reform it just a little bit back here, right around the handle, uh, to make that retention a little better. But, uh, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm good with what it is. Like I said, it's a, it's a $60 knife and, um, I don't know what, what you would expect beyond that. I'm going to. I'm going to be honest with you about every single knife or piece of gear or uh, place I go uh, when it comes to going to parks or wherever. I'm going to be honest with you about every detail of that. So let's set that one over here and move on to the next one. I've already prattled on too long once again. So let's spoil this one now. Inside here, I'm not going to open this. Inside here is going to be a microfiber cloth and probably the same uh, the same literature that was inside that one. Um, but the star of the show. Come on. There we go. I hate the sound of rustling those things out of it. 
Now, this is supposedly my carta, and yeah, I, I, I think I see the, um, yeah, this is the uh, Kaiser Swags Swayback. Uh, swags from the uh, Sharp and Pointy Swags, if you're familiar. Oh, nice. Um, oh, drop shutty. Super swingy right out of the box. Very nice. Um, yeah, this was designed by Swags. Uh, from the Sharp and Pointy show, uh, her own show. Swayback, model number, Kaiser and the logo, N690. This is Bowler N690. Got a swedge on the back of the blade. Um, it is, in case you missed it, push button. Wow. Uh, Uh, wow. Uh, so far, uh, in case you can't tell, quite impressed. Very impressed, as a matter of fact. Let's look at the centerings. Perfect. Uh, it's wide open construction. No place you can get anywhere near. Well, let's check, just to be sure before I say that. Yeah, this, uh, this barrel spacer that I think, well, if you want to trust putting a lanyard in there, oh. To get up here, see what we can see. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can pick up how close that the the tip of that gets to that barrel spacer that is obviously set up to be a lanyard. But you probably don't want to put a lanyard on that unless it's pretty thin. Um, for those of you who use lanyards. Uh, no, no, uh, no judgment either way, but, oh man, yeah, this one, no thank you, that, whatever kind of pocket clip you want to put on it, it's a very short, unobtrusive, doesn't look like it's going to be necessarily fun to wrestle in, into a pocket, but, uh, man, um, very smooth, incredibly smooth, I keep wanting to go for a liner lock, uh, only to remember it's push button. Oh. Oh, it's like a much less... Uh, well, I'm not going to compare it to a knife from another maker that's nothing at all like it. That would be silly. The only other push button knife I own, if you've seen me on Instagram or seen the review for it, assuming I've dropped it already. Um, <clears throat> anyway. Yes. Uh, so far... Uh, first Kaisers, um, one in D2, one in N690, one fixed blade, one folder, one push button fixed, uh, one coated, non necessarily stainless, borderline stainless ish, and uh, one in a, a good working stainless steel. Um, I have to say, very. Very, uh, you know, um, very impressed. I mean, I can sit here and nitpick little things about each one. Well, actually, there's outside of that that barrel spacer and a weird little weird little backspace uh, pocket clip. Um, I got nothing bad to say about this one, and a slight minor like loose just not quite the retention but it, like i said it doesn't rattle it doesn't act like it's gonna jump out of there or anything um still uh very nice um it felt like it was going to be just over the edge of edcable and i gotta tell you it's I think it's just inside that line. It's not on the other side. Um, it's right inside. Now, is that a... Yep. I don't know. 
Let me see if I can get that on here. There's one spot on the very tip that uh, is missing uh, missing a coating. Not a big deal to me. Um, not a big deal at all. So there, maybe we can see it there. There it is. You can see the shine on the top. Uh, not a big deal at all. Like I said, I can sit here and nitpick things to, to death all day. This is uh, just an unboxing and first impressions, and I have to say I am I am very very happy with uh, um, what was at the time of this unboxing a uh, hundred and eighteen dollars worth of knives, um, some free stickers, and. Uh, $15 in store credit waiting for me to go back and get something else. And I have to say that based on strictly this impression, uh, I, there's another one or two I would go back and buy uh, to take a look at again. So we may see something else from Kaiser coming up here before long. Um, if not, you're going to see these again on a day two review. Uh, so that'll be here in a few days, hopefully, from when this video drops. And uh, in the meantime, in between time, I am going to head out and start tinkering with these. And uh, we'll see you guys on the other side. Until then, stay well, be kind, do good. This is Grumpy. I'm out.